Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on B tree deletion. So that means how to perform the deletion operation on a B tree and what is the procedure we have to follow for performing the deletion operation on a B tree that can be discussed in this video. Okay, first one is a B tree of order M. Okay, satisfies the following conditions. First one is maximum number of children for a node is M. M number of maximum number of children are allowed in the B tree of order M. Next one, minimum number of children for a node is M by 2 with ceiling. So, M by 2 with ceiling means so we are considering the uh, ceiling value after performing the division operation. Okay. So here B tree of order M is equal to 3. So maximum number of children for a node is M number of children are possible for a node in the B tree of order M. So here M is equal to 3. So maximum 3 children are allowed. Next. Minimum number of children for a node in the B tree of order 3 is M by 2 with the ceiling. Okay. So, for example, M is equal to 3, 3 by 2, 3 by 2 with the ceiling. So, that is 1.5. 1.5 ceiling value is nothing but, so we have rounded that value through the ceiling. So, 1.5 rounded value is 2. So, minimum number of children for a node is 2. Next one, maximum number of key elements for a node. That means how many number of key elements are exist for a node. Maximum is M minus 1. M minus 1 is M value 3. 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2. Next, minimum number of children for a node is M by 2 minus 1 with ceiling. So first we have to calculate M by 2. So, with the ceiling means, so 1 point M value 3, 3 by 2 is 1.5, 1.5 ceiling is 2, 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1. Minimum number of key elements for a node is 1, maximum number of key elements for a node is 2, minimum number of children for a node is 2, maximum number of children for a node is 3. So, these are the conditions we have to follow while performing the deletion operation for order M is equal to 3. Okay, next one. B tree deletion consists of two phases. Okay, two cases or two phases. Case 1 is if the target key is there at a leaf node. Second case is if the target key is there at the internal node. Okay. So, our target key means whatever the key element that we want to delete. So, that key element is called as target key element. So, case 1 is if the target key element is present at the leaf node. Second case is if the target key element is there at the internal node. Internal node means it is not a leaf node. Okay. First one is. Suppose if the target key element is present at the leaf node, again we have to follow these two cases. First case is the leaf node contains more than the minimum number of key elements. Okay, so minimum number of key elements is m by 2 minus 1. Okay, so if the leaf node contains more than the minimum number of key elements, okay, then Simply we have to perform the deletion operation and delete the target key element because it contains more than the minimum number of key elements. The leaf node contains the uh, more than the minimum number of key elements. Here minimum number of key elements is 1. Suppose the leaf node contains two key elements. One is a target key element and another one is another key element. So, we have to simply delete that key element. Okay. Next, second case, 
the leaf node contains only the minimum number of key elements minimum number of key elements is one okay the leaf node contains only the minimum number of key elements then the following steps we have to follow okay only the leaf node contains only the minimum number of key elements minimum number of key elements how many only one okay at that time so what are the steps we have to follow first one is borrow from immediate left node or siblings to the parent okay so for example so this is the leaf node okay so this leaf node i want to delete the uh, element q here target key element is q okay so suppose if the target if the leaf node contains only a minimum number of key elements suppose here only q is there okay only q is there here the first step for example okay first step uh, if the target key element is at the leaf node suppose i want to delete element q key element q okay so first we have to check where is the location of q q is compared with the uh, root node that root node contains the key elements two key elements one is p and another one is t so first q is compared with the p so q is greater than p next q is compared with the second key element so q is compared with the t q is less than t so q is there in between p and t so that go to the middle pointer so in the middle pointer go to the middle pointer it contains a node that node contains two key elements q and r okay so this is the leaf node now go for if the target key element is present at the leaf node yes it is present at the leaf node it does not have any children first one is the leaf node contains more than the minimum number of key elements what are the minimum number of key elements for a node one but here the leaf node contains how many number of key elements two key elements so it is greater than the minimum number of key elements at that time we have to simply delete the target key element so we have to simply delete the target key element q can be deleted after q can be deleted only r so now this leaf node contains minimum number of key elements okay this is the case one step a okay next go for uh, case one step b the leaf node contains only the minimum number of key elements okay so now i want to delete the target key element that is r i want to delete the target key element that is r okay so first we have to check where is the location of r r is compared with p so it is greater than p r is compared with t it is less than t so r is there in between p and t go to the middle pointer so here the middle pointer points to a uh, subtree that subtree contains a single node that is r it is a leaf node okay how many number of key elements are there in the leaf node one okay so then how many number of minimum number of key elements for a node that is one so it contains this leaf, this leaf node contains the minimum number of key elements okay now go to this step the leaf node contains only the minimum number of key elements then the following steps we have to follow here i am deleting target key element r okay borrow from immediate left node so immediate left node or sibling is this one this node immediate right node or right sibling is this one okay sibling means so the nodes that have the same parent here this node has the same parent p and t this node has the same parent p and t this node has the same parent p and t okay so suppose i want to delete the target key element r okay so it does not contain it contains only a minimum number of key elements after deleting r there are no key elements are there 
at that time we have to borrow from the immediate left node that is k comma l or borrow from immediate right node u comma b through the parent okay first step borrow from the immediate left node or siblings through the parent okay we can take one node from the left node because it contains more than the minimum number of key elements minimum number of key elements is one but, but this uh, left node contains two key elements so at that time we can take borrow only one key element from that uh, left node okay because it contains two key elements second one borrow from immediate right node here the immediate right node is u comma b it contains more than the minimum number of key elements then we have to take borrow one key element from that node through the parent okay any borrow we have to take either from the left node or our left sibling right node or our right sibling through the parent can be done okay next third case if the immediate left or right nodes suppose immediate left or right nodes contains only a minimum number of key elements here also minimum number of key elements so here the left sibling or left node contains a minimum number of key elements one here right sibling also contains minimum number of key elements one then after deleting target key element r is deleted then we have to borrow either from the left sibling or right sibling but left sibling contains only one key element and right sibling contains only one key element at that time merging operation is done with the left sibling or right sibling to the parent then we have to merge operation can be done either with the left sibling k comma r and either with the right sibling r comma u here right sibling is u left sibling is k then this node perform the merge operation either with the left sibling or with the right sibling through the parent okay so these are the cases if the target key is present at the leaf node okay first case is if the leaf node contains say uh, if the target key element is present at the leaf node now that leaf node contains more than the minimum number of key elements at that time we have to simply delete the target key element okay second case if the that leaf node contains only minimum number of key elements then so that node can take the borrow from either left sibling or right sibling to the parent if the left sibling or right sibling contains the minimum number of key elements then we have to perform the merge operation either with the left sibling or with the right sibling through the parent okay so these are the cases in the if the target key element is there at the leaf node next second case if the target key is the internal node if the target key is there at the inter, at the internal node now first point target key element is replaced with the in order predecessor of that key in order predecessor means maximum element in the left subtree maximum element in the left subtree so for that target key element we have to find out the left subtree in that left subtree what is the maximum element is there we have to replace with the maximum element in the left subtree so that is the first case second case is target key element has a right subtree so now find out the minimum element in the uh, right subtree so now that element is uh, uh, that element replaces the target key element this is the second case third case match operation okay merge operation is done with either left sibling or right sibling through the parent so here it is also merge operation here it is also merge operation okay suppose we are taking one node so that is p and t okay so here some k is there and here some h is there 
here some L is there and here Q is there and here U here that is B so that is U and it is X suppose it is there okay so now I want to uh, delete this target key element B now we have to find out the left subtree of that node we have to replace with the uh, maximum element in the left subtree for this node maximum element it contains only one node we have to find out the maximum element so we have to replace with this element okay so in the same way minimum element in the right subtree suppose we have to delete this node we have to replace with this node okay so this procedure we have to follow okay if the target key element is there at the internal node okay so the target key element is replaced with the in order predecessor that means maximum element in the left subtree of that node okay next target key element is replaced with the minimum element in the right subtree okay so if these two cases are not satisfied then we have to perform the merging operation either with the left sibling or with the right sibling to the parent Okay, so these are the steps we have to follow for performing deletion operation on P tree. Now we go for one example.